Whoa, this is different. Slips down instead of up. Oh, there's the hut. Woohoo! Oh, guys, we made it. Well, not yet, but you know. Oh. Oh. We made it. Welcome to Specimen Point. Specimen Point Hut. And there's all the specimens and the river. How fantastic is that? Another great dock hut here. Uh, not quite as big as the last one, but it sleeps 14 still. So, um, well, it looks like it's got a telephone RT there as well, digital RT. Kitchen, dining area, fireplace. Beautiful. Cards. Yeah, so it's uh, quite noticeable how much I've been riding up. You know, you don't kind of realise it on an e-bike. Okay, it's so cool because uh, I'm now going down river. As you can hear, the river beside me there, and uh, definitely going downhill. So I've got plenty of battery, I would say, to do that other ride that we want to do as well. Carry on down here, and then. See how to get on with the next track. Yeah, I'm not riding too hard because these rocks are pretty janky and I just don't want to have a, a rip in my tire or anything like that. Oh, Jesus. See what I mean? Janky, janky rocks. Oh, well, I just messed up the entrance into into this bridge and I crashed right here look that's not good Jesus uh yeah pick myself up and carry on I suppose that wasn't nice so uh there's just a real tight entrance to the bridge through these rocks and things had to wheelie up that there and try and turn as well Oh, I got a bit of cramp in my calf because I got just kind of stuck all in that janky. Hopefully, my bike's all good. I think so. Oh. Put it down, jump back on. Carry on. Well, I'm actually really glad Barbara didn't come. It's tough. This is it's hard work uh, riding back down. Riding up, um, I don't know. Uh, I guess it's slower going for sure. Um, 
don't know what's happened, I just... It's interesting. Riding up, I seem to have more... Um, I, don't, I don't know, the tech was good. There seems to be quite a bit more tech going down than it is up, which is unusual. Normally you barrel over the tech when you're going downhill, but you really have to watch this rock. It's quite dangerous. Fortune awaits the Red Queen mine. It's hard to imagine, but at the height of the gold fever in the 1880s, a small village stood here. The town of Setonville. Setonville served the Red Queen mine as well as dozens of other gold workings up and down the river. Supplies were brought in by horse-drawn cart. One of the drivers was Johnny Cake, hence the name of the creek back down the trail. It was said that when families moved to Setonville, small children were carried in in empty gin cases slung on the side of the horses. No sign really of a village here now. Oh well, you yeah, might, might be in there, but I'm not going to go in, unfortunately, because oh, I'm still trying to get out of here. <laughs> it's, um, she's a, she's a mission. So, uh, and I want to get back. Still got plenty of battery. I've had a couple of falls though, you know, so that wears you out of it and freaks you out of it. So we'll carry on. Okay, bike lovers, we're nearly back. I can't say it's been straightforward my goodness it's uh it's a rough track so i'd have to say this is the sorest my hands have ever been riding a bike you know um i don't normally suffer from sore hands i can do some pretty long rides um yeah and don't get that hand pain but man those rocks are unforgiving so uh really had to concentrate had to think pretty hard hence the reason why you didn't get much downhill footage just because I wanted to concentrate on what I was doing and here comes Barb oh my goodness that's a tough ride yeah I was thinking I thought oh I wish I could have made the time I wasn't sure if that could happen to you or not or something no I was being real careful so it's a tough ride, real tough. My hands. Oh my, my hands. Hey Juki. Hello buddy. I'm drenched. Hey? I'm soaked through. What Water. Rain? Water. Was it raining out there? No, there's just creeks. You're riding through the creeks and stuff. Go back and get changed in the Yeah. Yeah, there's been some big slips. And I've kind of uh, made a janky <laughs> Alternative, not easy to ride this stuff, it's loose that is. This is Bob's favourite bit. Yeah. And that's us. Finished. Old Ghost Road, well not the whole thing, just from the start to the first hut. Yeah. 17 k's in, 34 k's in total. But it's the same distance as to the first hut on the Paparoa from Punakaiki, but way way harder. The rocks are really slippery and hard to hang on. And we're done. 
We made it. Fist bumps. Fist bumps. <laughs> and the van. Well guys, we've uh, completed that little task and it was wicked. And when I say wicked, I mean it was mean and wicked, not really wicked fun. It was hard, hard work. Um, I guess it's because of a couple of days of rain and it was wet. I'm soaked through uh, from that 17k in and 17k out, right? The rocks were rough, really rough and hard on my hands. Um, so it made it hard work. So my recommendation would be definitely do it, um, but don't <laughs> try and do it fast and take lots of food and stuff and stay the night and then do it, come back out that way or go all the way and stay two nights and do the whole trail. It's 80, what, 82 Ks, I think, the whole trail. So I only did 34 Ks today in total there and back to the first hut.